In 2015, the Axis was the big news for Polaris out on the trails. And following the progression that we all hoped would be, for 2016, Polaris brings that same next level technology to the RMK side. When spec'd out properly, the RMK155 will now weigh a mind-blowing 408 pounds. That is the lightest mountain sled on the market by a long shot. It sends everyone else back to the drawing board, or maybe more accurately, the treadmill. Getting to 408 pounds took a lot of new technology and some serious forward thinking, and can only be described as a mountain sled like no other. From the beautiful forged aluminum upper and lower A-arms that save 1.5 pounds to the Walker monotube featherweight shocks, quick drive, low inertia belt drive, and an all new Polaris exclusive series 2.6 lightweight track, the RMK is a feather. And thanks to all the weight savings, the 800 HO feels incredibly potent in the Axis RMK chassis. While there is a whole lot more that goes into the Polaris Axis RMK to make it that light, there's a sled for 2016 and a name coming back that's equally as cool. The SKS features a beautiful blue and white coloration and can be specced with different track packages. The key to this sled is the added bulkhead cooler and abundance of wheels in the rear skid, helping it to maintain both lower operating temperatures and slider material even when the trails are groomed. Featuring most of the Axis RMK technology from the 408 pound sled, the SKS truly is a no compromise, do it all powder sled that can be ridden nearly anywhere. Utilizing a chain case as opposed to the drive belt and featuring the same lightweight, rigid rear RMK suspension that drops three pounds in weight, the SKS is potent. Besides the assault, all other Axis RMKs feature the taller front spindle that delivers more ground clearance, reducing drag, allowing the sled to stay atop the snow more easily. And when you link all of that with the incredibly light design, you have a snowmobile that delivers what Polaris calls instantaneous lift. Does it work? From my experience, absolutely. While there is a huge variety of factory customization available across all Polaris snowmobile lines for 2016, the big news truly rests in the RMK camp, where impressive new technology and extreme lightweight are setting the standards for mountain snowmobiling in 2016. While we've had the opportunity to see many of the new 2016 sleds, we haven't had the chance to get our hands on the new Yamahas, but that doesn't mean that we don't have all the info. The Apex will see weight reduction of up to 10 pounds through the use of a new rear skid frame called the Single Shot using a new Fox Float 3 XV air shock. This same suspension can be found on the 2016 Vector and sees similar weight savings. Another big feature on the Vector is Yamaha Chip Controlled Throttle or YCCT, which allows users to select three unique throttle maps and will appeal to novice or rental riders. The Viper lineup is not without its changes as well, and for 2016, suspension seems to be where most of those changes are happening. The Viper STX has gone from an uncoupled 141-inch air skid to a much smoother 137 coupled skid, offering better ride compliance yet great off-trail flotation using a 1.6-inch lug track. The STX DX137 features hard shell flexi bags for sizable gear storage, while the 146-inch DX gets a rear pickup box that houses a four-gallon auxiliary fuel tank. Both models feature coilover shocks up front. And speaking of coilovers, the Viper 129 RTX SE loses its Fox floats in exchange for a set of Fox PB three-position adjustable piggyback coils. And finally, the mountain market did not get overlooked, where Yamaha's Vipers will be climbing higher than they ever have before. The new MTXs use a completely new front end that drops weight and increases performance in the mountains. LE versions in both 62 and 53 inch length will see a three inch power claw track to compete with the new three inch competition. All Viper mountain sleds will also be using a newly designed ski for better float and quicker lift. The 2016 year is shaping up to be quite interesting and Yamaha is adding some updates and benefits that are sure to impress next year's riders. Skidoo has a lot of new stuff for model year 2016. However, we're gonna let you be the judge if what's new is what you wanted. To kick off this feature, we'll unveil what we think is the slickest twist we've ever seen on the ubiquitous snowmobile ski. Here's the deal. The snowmobile ski and carbide combination you choose for your sled has pretty much always been a static feature. You bolt carbides on your skis and you're stuck with what you've got. 
Here to explain what Skidoo has come up with is Snowmobile Product Development Director, J.F. Lambert. Let's talk about the Pilot TS Ski. It's uh, something we're very proud of, uh, coming uh, new for 2016. With the Pilot TS Ski, what we brought to the customer is a mean to adjust his ride uh, very easily, very quickly and directly, I will say, it, uh, to the ski. So the front end is uh, clearly affected uh, when you play with the, with the knob on the ski. What's technically happening, when you turn the knob, the blade will move up and down, the blade holding the carbides. And with this, it will change dramatically the dynamic behavior of the vehicle. Uh, if you bring the blade in, then you will have a, a less aggressive of a ride, but much less darting, much less tearing effort. And on the other side, if you drop the blade down, then you will have a more accurate ride, a bit more steering uh, effort. This sounded too good to be true. However, it isn't. Here's how the TS Ski works. When we developed the Pilot TS Ski, we wanted to make sure it was going to be super easy for the customer to adjust. Uh, so we made it uh, very easy to, uh, to turn the knob, uh, physically easy. Probably the most anticipated update from Skidoo has been a new generation 1200 Fortec engine and a restyle of the somewhat long in the tooth XR bodywork package. If you were waiting for more power from the industry's most popular four-stroke engine, you're going to have to wait a little longer. The 2016 Fortec 1200 will get Rotax ITC, Intelligent Throttle Control, with its tri-mode response system. The addition of ITC to the 1200 makes a significant improvement in throttle pickup off idle and engagement. There's also a new muffler for the Fortec, necessitated by the 1200's move into XS bodywork. The XS bodywork package has been tweaked ever so slightly to accommodate the larger 1200 Fortec engine. However, you get all the inherent advantages of the XS bodywork, including improved wind protection, storage, and easier underhood access. Big news is the elimination of the venerable and identity challenged GSX series. In their place comes a reinvented big miler sled platform called the Enduro. While similar in its equipment load to a GSX, there's something that's bare-chested and more manly about the Enduro. Could be that tubular bumper or the funky gold frost coloration. For sure, the availability of 900 and 1200 Fortec power and 600 and 800 E-Tech power makes this an attractive sled for riders looking for adventure. There's a 137R motion with air ride, Pilot TS skis, and heated everything for the rider. Does Skidoo's Spring Break program and their new 2016 models have enough sizzle to keep their showrooms busy this March? Yep, we think so. Arctic Cat has become increasingly customer-centric. For model year 2016, you're going to see more of what you've been asking for. Everything from a new engine to new segmentation to all new models are part of 2016. Arctic Cat is serious about sorting out the crossover segment. To this end, the XF and ZR series are being blended to a degree to deliver ZRs in both 129 and 137 inch track lengths. Last year's hugely popular XF 137, a virtual ZR clone, is simply a ZR 137 for 2016. Arctic Cat legend and product manager Joey Hallstrom explains. Our 137, which was an XF last year, really uh, we sat down with customers and we listened to them that they wanted a ZR, but they wanted a 137 track. And the more we dug into it and talked to these people, we decided that they wanted a ZR129 length or a ZR137 length. Again, because the 137 is getting so popular. What's the benefits of a 137? When you get a little bit longer wheelbase, the machine straddles the bumps better. It's a little more smoother riding. You do get more track underground. You get more traction. That's one of the biggest things why we see this 137 catching so much uh, popularity lately. In a somewhat unexpected move, Arctic Cat is equipping all their engines from the 600 DSi up to Team Industries primary and secondary clutches in 2016. 
the durability and the consistency and the better clutches overall that we're getting out of here, we're, we're very excited. And that's, that's the main reason why. We want to give the customer a better drive system. They expect it. We're challenging ourselves to have better quality, better durability, better longevity. You shouldn't have to go buy a new clutch at 1,500 miles. Maybe the biggest news for model year 2016 is the reinvention of the M-Series mountain-specific models. Arctic Cat is intently interested in growing this segment and has invested heavily in new chassis technology. What's new on the M-Series? How about an all-new wide-spaced A-frame IFS producing increased camber when levering the bars and new slippery spindles designed for less drag when side-hilling? There's a completely new rear skid that pops in powder and an available three inch lug for serious bite in deep snow. Ergos have been tweaked with a new fixed handle pull and attention to belt cooling is improved as well. Arctic Cat has the widest range of both two and four stroke engines in the Snowmo Biz. Their footprint in the market is huge and for 2016, their rationalized model designations are making snowmobile segmentation way easier to understand. If you like this video, post a comment and tell us what you think. Then click on this link to subscribe to Snowtracks TV here on the YouTube channel.